Uh, any other council comments before we take a vote? Yes, Councilman Moran. Well, I have to say that I agree with Councilmember Westman. Frankly, I think it's hard enough to get people to volunteer to do things, but making them, and it's, and it's one thing to have a set of ground rules, as it were, but to make people sign this document saying that they're going to abide by these rules or be kicked off the whatever the committee is, I think it's a deterrent to having people volunteer for things. So I have to say I agree. Councilmember Wilcox. Yeah, and I'll do respect that. <clears throat> I have to concur with uh, both of them from the standpoint that we have enough trouble getting volunteers, and if having to sign this, um, <laughs> they're going to think twice, I think, before they want to volunteer. And uh, all due respect, I'd have to vote against it also. Other council, council member Bailey. Um, I've had several years in working with volunteers, and like Ms. Kerslake said, this is very common in cities and even with nonprofit agencies. And as she mentioned, it is just a gentle reminder to give the volunteer some just guidelines and expectations, and I really don't see it as a problem. Other council comments? Councilmember Aaron Reich. I, I, I've got to agree with Councilmember Westman. Um, it, it seems to me that it, you do need to have these things signed for safety issues and following rules of operating equipment or, or, or maybe even rules of following how, um, uh, you know, certain procedures, but I'm not sure that this is absolutely necessary. Do we have anything recent that would lead us to believe that there is a need for this? I've received numerous comments um, in different facets of different committees of being concerned that certain things were said certain ways or not respecting each other in the committee, even though some good things were coming out, some also hurtful things were coming out. So this is my effort in response to how to keep the, the, the playing field level and how to have common ground rules for all of us to be aware of and to agree to. Other council comments? Council Member Wren? Well, I, I was going to also ask if this was a solution in search of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm wondering if there's some middle ground that we could have here. I understand that there have been some sorts of complaints, but I, I, I still am concerned that, you know, if you're getting people to give up their time to do something, to, I mean, if I were presented with this, I might think twice about being involved in some committee if you're asking me to, not that I wouldn't want to follow the rules, I'm just saying. You know, I just, I think it kind of throws cold water on anybody's desire to participate in things. Um, is there some kind of middle ground that we could just have a set of ground rules without requiring people to sign this document? That's what I would recommend. Interestingly enough, one of the things at our retreat was that our facilitator wanted us to assume good intentions. And I guess if someone were to hand me this when I walked into a volunteer opportunity and said, here, I want you to sign this before we're going to let you, before we're going to let you give us your time, I'm going to look at it and say, they're assuming bad intentions on my part. And I would be a little bit, you know, put off by it. I mean, I understand that we want to stress that, I, I like the idea that we perhaps, you know, post it as a code of conduct for volunteers and, and incorporate it into policies and procedures for our standing committees if we have it. But, you know, if I, if I walked in and, and just said, okay, I'm going to help out tonight at... ...the Easter egg stuffing, or I'm going to help you hide eggs, or I'm going to help you with the Fourth of July planning, and I was given this, I, I would wonder what you, why you asked me to volunteer if you thought I needed to have a code of conduct. That's an excellent point. Councilmember Wilcox? No, I'm going to re refrain. <laughs> so it sounded like to me that we, um, there's a motion on the table at this point. Yes, Councilmember Westman. Madam Mayor, I move to table this item. Is there a second? Second. 
So the do we need to retract and then do a new one, Ms. Kersley? So was, it, was a motion made initially to consider this item? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then yes, that motion needs to be withdrawn. I'll, I'll with, withdraw my uh, motion. Okay, so a motion is made to withdraw by uh, Councilmember Coffey. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Councilmember Moran. Is there a new motion to withdraw this item? I'll make a motion to table it to our study session. Yeah, second. Okay, uh, motion by Councilmember Bailey and seconded by Councilmember Wilcox to uh, table this to our work session.